Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd show you the ROM that I'm running at the moment on my Nexus 5, uh, which is Purity ROM. First of all, I'll just show you the About phone. Um, so, oopsie daisy. So you can see it's 4.4.1, um, if it focus, it'll focus. But I'm probably going to try a different ROM now because the, the guy, the developers, doesn't seem to be in any hurry to go to 4.4.2 and it probably made no difference at all to me but I'm that kind of person that just loves to have the latest version. I've got the bricked kernel installed, I think I did that myself, I don't think that came with the ROM. Um, you might guess from the name Purity it tries to be sort of as like stock as possible um, which is you know no bad thing these days back in in years gone by, you would try and uh, you'd use the ROMs to sort of add a load of extra stuff and get away in some cases the uh, the stock feeling that some phones would have. But on the Nexus 5, uh, on 4.4, you know, stock is nice and people generally seem to like stock, so um, it's no bad thing to to just tweak it rather than try and drastically alter it. Now you see straight away in the purity system, so the settings specific for purity are there. Um, Status bar, for example, so I've got clock and date enabled. I can change the color of the clock and date if I so wished. So, to go with my red red theme that I have going on around the phone there. Um, alignment, you can center it or have it over on the right hand side. You can then have different uh, date fonts, date styles, date format. So it takes up quite a bit of space with uh, some of those, so that's quite good. Uh, the battery icon, now this is rather limited because we only get the choice of regular icon, a circle, circle percentage or nothing. Um, and obviously you can probably see, it's quite hard to see the percentage. It is somewhat small, there you go, you can see it. So that's, that's a little limited, I've used other ROMs Oh, come on, are you going to focus? I've used other ROMs where you get uh, better options than that. So even just a big textual number I prefer, but still, at least there is an option to have it. Network indicator and brightness control. Actually, I'm not sure where, oh, is that using the, yeah, there we go, using the, your finger on the top of the bar there, oopsie, to increase the brightness all the way up. All the way down, which is how I have it for the videos. Let's take that off again, though. What else do we have? Quick settings. So nothing particularly new with quick settings. That's the quick settings there. Um, but in this case, we get to have some options with it. So we can decide. Oops, let me do that. The tile layout. I think these are all fairly normal things there. But you get to add, remove, move, move them around. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing nothing too different there, really. Notification drawer, but we can here have the quick access ribbon. So, what's that, six buttons there. And again, you can link them to the same as in, in that panel. I don't do that, I do my own. You set them up in this sort of quick panel format, but they're, so for example, if I add uh, GPS, GPS is now there. It should be, it doesn't seem to do much look. Kind of weird. Let's try adding something else. NFC. So NFC should be there it is. And I can turn NFC on or off. Um oh wait, I don't want NFC though. What's next? Power menu. Uh, it's always handy to have the reboot and reboot options in the power menu. If I say reboot it says Reboot into what? Um, the navigation bar, I thought this was kind of cool, I haven't seen this before in a ROM. You get to change what buttons are along the bottom. Um, so if I tap the padlock at the top, this now becomes editable. I can press add and I can add a search button. I'll lock it again. And now I've always got a, I've always got a search, always, you know, if I come all the way out, look, I've got a search button. You see that? It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't think I particularly want a search button there. So I'm going to go back in. Unlock. I forget now how I remove it. 
in fact yeah I think I had this before I might have to reset let's reset please so now we've gone back to normal that's fine if I wanted to add back in a menu button to be honest I'm not too well I'll leave it as it is lock it back up again just so if you see that off the camera a little padlock you tap that to go into edit mode um, I quite like that you can change the dimensions as well so at the moment it's a regular size if I go in and, and crank the, the DP up that becomes bigger if we go back in see how, can you see how small if the camera will focus come on camera see how small those are now uh, Go for 40. So quite quite small, quite neat. So yeah, quite like that. Um, quick launch. So you know, normally swiping up from the home, you get just the Google Now thing. You can add other applications in there. So I've got the camera and browser. So if we come back out, I can quick swipe into camera. I quite like that. Uh, and then we get some lock screen options about enabling widgets and such. Uh, what else? There are, oh, yeah, clear all buttons, fairly. Display and light. I'm not sure if the rotation thing is normally there or not. Battery light, we get to uh, sort of specify the different colours. Uh, oh, volume rocker wake, so you can have it turn on with the volume rocker. Uh, and then in sound, we get volume panel style options there, expandable we get music effects, DSP manager, that's built into sound so we can put bass boosts on and change um, the, uh, what do you call it, someone will remember, I've lost it uh, what else have we got go into the advanced options Headset volume, that blooming warning that comes on when you try and turn your volume up with the headset plugged in, that's rather annoying. Volume rocker music, I actually turn this off, so you can have it so that holding down volume up will skip to the next track. But I kept finding that I'd be, you know, I'd be doing that, listen to podcasts, trying to turn the volume up, and it would just move on to the next podcast. But that's really good that that's in there. So I think that's most of the features of the ROM. So I've used it for a good week or two, and I really like it, but I just get itchy feet when there's a new version out that I want to move on to basically so I probably will but I highly recommend it purity ROM you could find it easily enough by just searching purity hammerhead hammerhead is the kind of the code name for the Nexus 5 so search purity hammerhead in Google and the top link will be to the XDA developers thread for the ROM flash it as normal in uh, in whatever custom recovery you happen to have installed there you go my name's Andy I'll catch you all again soon